Ollie's, these are header carts for uh, combine heads. That's what it or seems like to me. It was like day one. Uh, but I, I don't have any way to... I guess that's what we're going to go to. That'll go on a semi. I kind of like that idea. Very legal. No plate. We'll just do yeah. one for now and we'll try it out. Do what? Yeah. No buff. Hard work, light works. You're fine, right? All right. I was going to use this to pull that plow, but I don't think I want to do that. Too much tractor. Pulling that little plow around. Oh, that's the wrong button. Here, we'll just have left like He gets a whole stall in the garage here, okay? Yep, they fit. Yep. Uh, yeah. Actually, you know what? We're going to do some Kubota plowing, boys. We're going to do it. A boat of plowing. Incoming chat. And really on the header carts, like I'm fine if we don't really use the header carts right now. But if we go off to do a contract or we get some fields that are a little farther away, then we need to be using the header carts, right? Because right now all of our fields are, well, you know, we have to cross the tracks once, and there's actually a little road there to do it. But yeah. It's the whole thing. Right. Backyards. Yeah. Yeah, the Kubota. Yeah, Kubota doesn't make anything like massive or anything. This is their biggest tractor, and it's not even a true Kubota. We found out earlier today. It's kind of a Kubota. What do you mean it's not a real Kubota? It doesn't even have a Kubota engine. Hmm. What's in there? Uh, Cummins. Yeah. Kind of interesting, but yeah, it's apparently a bunch of like other components they put together to make a tractor instead of like a Kubota tractor, which is made by Kubota. Or you know, right? Sure. <laughs> I didn't know that earlier. I, I guess I didn't realize they didn't have a, they had a Cummins motor in there, not a Kubota motor. Yeah, because they they tap out at. Hold on. Didn't know, like a versatile Nemesis. Maybe. They tap out at like 170 apparently on their horsepower, and this one's 200. Yeah. Today I learned. Oh. Betcha. Yeah. Use the neighbor's Kubota. Nice. Very nice. But this is what we have to plow with right now, so I don't need a big tractor. You know? I don't really need a big tractor right now, and I don't really have any other jobs to do. We have two combines. Assuming the auger wagon's keeping up fine, right? Yeah, that's got to get Tony when he turns around. Okay. You want a combine? No, I'm good. I've already come in once today. Okay. We did all these fields uh, earlier. I kind of wanted to come by, so. Oh, no, you're good. Fine. You're good. It's okay, uh, fertilizer spreader guy. That's hey, me. Somebody has to do it. Oh, trying to grow, grow a little corn, really. Did you see the uh, the farm down on the way next to Dad's cousin's farm that you know you spread fertilizer on? Yeah. They're uh, tearing down that old barn. I think you told me about that a little while ago, didn't okay. you? Yeah. I think so. Last time you're here now. Yeah. It's kind of sad. Sad to see it go. But it's being put up somewhere else, so. It's not being, you know, thrown away. That's good. Yeah. Because it's, like, not put together with nails, so. Kind of old. Thought the train was coming down the tracks. So I was like, uh oh. Rut row, Reggie. I wonder why they're going to get rid of it. 
I don't know. I don't know if it needed work or I, I don't know. It was in the way. I I don't know. That farm is nothing but buildings. <laughs> That's know. actual. It's actual facts. Maybe they're gonna put something new there. I don't know. I don't know what the strategy is, but kind of sucks to see it go. But again, um, it'll be alright. It'll buff. Tony, you're quite full. Who? Oh, Tony. Tony. Yeah. That's kind of the point of the combine is to fill up, right? Maybe? I don't know. It's shallow color. <laughs> Looking at Facebook as, as one does. Tony's like, I just go back and forth. Yeah. Tears so don't get fined. Yeah, it's pretty well. Not sure who's going to find you. But whoever it is, they're probably rich by now all the time you mess, right? Yeah. <laughs> no kid. Uh, that's great. Right. Oh, have you had the mosquito flogger in your neighborhood yet? Probably if they have, I haven't seen it. It came through the other night and I was like, mm, I can smell it was not very happy about it. Black Hat's gonna find Tony. How much? 350. Just put it on my tab. Put it on debit. You take debit? Can't wait to hear how many times I make that joke tomorrow, right, Tony? <laughs> <laughs> Big debit? So how many days in a row do you think they'll run my card? I have a spending limit, so. How many times what? I have a spending limit on my card. Oh. So how many days in a row do you think they would run my card? <laughs> no? Yes, I could. I doubt they would want to do that, though. Yeah, probably paying a lump sum and then leave, probably. Probably, yeah. They want their money and they want you to leave, yeah. Whether or not you get what you paid for, they don't really care. They got the money. Yeah, they just want the money. I would think. Yep. That's how it works, yeah. Boy, dang. We talked about it. Not supposed to. Sorry. He means not here right now, so I guess it's okay. Didn't get yelled at, right? Jimmy might watch this back then. I like it an angry, uh, angry DM. That's okay. Wouldn't be the first. <laughs> and won't be the last one. Trent, that is a good looking combo, though. That's, uh, track, two track in the, uh, track cart. I like it. So now we got both Kinsey carts, right? Yep. Bit of an equipment upgrade today. Kinsey carts. We bought two two track tires today. Good. On sale. John's leaving skippers left and right. Yeah, Trent's a professional auger wagon driver. He'll he'll take care of it for you, John. Don't worry. It was on sale. Both of them are on sale. Even that's the best part. I know. Only if we'd buy some ground. We're actually, should we? We do have 1.1 mil. I know. What well, should be our first factory? Should we go for cheap? Like go that route first, or what do you think, Chad? You want to save a little bit of money? We could buy plot four. Okay, what's up, Tony? Oh, I was just saying you were talking about sheep earlier. It's too early for that yawning stuff. <laughs> we'll do that. I got a big day tomorrow. You know? Me we too. Gotta, gotta rest up. Oh no, Tony has an even bigger day because that means he has to actually wake up. Tony gets up early before. every day, dog. I know. But John, he can't sleep in. Sean wants us to make whiskey. Actually, like our, that wouldn't be bad. Our first factory. 
Right. What about all? What about all? All. Fastest way to earn money. Um, soybeans are pretty good. Silage can be good. Cutting trees down can be pretty good. There's lots of ways to make money. It really comes down to personal preference. Yeah. Yeah, the dairy with cows, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, the other way here. Uh, <laughs> compost. That that is a great way to make money if your map has compost. If you're playing, if especially on Stevie maps, if you're playing a Stevie map, um. Compost is definitely, definitely, definitely the way to go. All right. By far the way to go. It has rye in it. What? Rye? Yeah. Well, I'm kind of thinking maybe we need to up our plowing capabilities too. But would be the next size up. That's the problem. There's not like another intermediate step I always go with the old trusty 2410 yeah oh a digger yeah digger well uh, there is a step up so technically what are we up now meter wise we're at four nine right now so we can get this case and that'll put us at eight five Going seven miles an hour. The problem is you need 300 horsepower, which we have. That case would be a good one. We could run them on them deers, I bet. I bet on them four, like, even that two-wheel drive, I bet it's still run. I bet it'd run on the back of that. And I'd put it on the three-point hitch, too, right? Instead of a tow behind. You got that 8410. I bet it'd pull it. Well, let's try it. It's only 80 grand. What factories are on this map? Uh, all your base game factories that are on Elm Creek are gonna be here. And then uh, Stevie has, oh boy, let's go look. So we do have all the platinum and, and premium and all that. We have all that stuff too. But technically if we want to, we could get into like metal and put a mine out, you know, and all that stuff too. We also do have the pumps and hoses stuff for all the biogas stuff if we wanted to. Probably won't do that. Um, we have the homogenizers for the milk. That's a Stevie thing. And then uh, there's one already on the map, but it's a potato, potato washing and steaming place. Uh, Stevie's Dairy has more stuff, milkshakes and yogurt. Chocolate ice cream, I guess that's what that is. I'm not really sure. Uh, we have compost, obviously. So he has a lot of the standard factories, too. Uh, they might be turned up. I'm not sure. Um, his uh, sugar mill does all kinds of extra stuff, too. All kinds of stuff on his sugar mill. Um, that's a bakery that just takes extra stuff from the sugar mill, basically. Uh, spinneries, normal grape juice and raisins which we're not going to do that uh technically that's a silage maker uh drying or that's a fermenting you know uh pig food maker we could do that eventually this is his first uh seed and fertilizer or fertilizer that's for fertilizer lime which we're not going to do uh this will make uh mixed or uh this will make your uh uh, what's it called? What's that stuff called? Mineral. That makes the mineral for the TMR for the cows. Uh, seed maker. This will make manure. That's kind of weird. It takes liquid manure and straw and makes it into solid manure. Uh, TMR. We're not going to worry about that. This is a wood chipper. Turns wood into wood chips. Uh, potato or not potato. That's sugar beet. Uh, processor makes the uh, the cut beats. That one we've run a lot before. This is what Sean's talking about. Wanting to make all the adult beverages. 
Uh, we probably wouldn't do anything with grapes because I'm not gonna grow grapes. Do, we can do still... grapes again? No. Got any grapes? Uh, we have some TMR mixers. Um, then this is the DLC stuff here. And then we do have, uh, we have this packing. That's what all this stuff is. Yeah. We have this packing plant, uh, stuff, which is kind of interesting. So this gives you like, I guess like ketchup. I don't really know how much we're going to get into all that. Um, and then it's interesting. You take all the finished stuff to this place and then it makes it into something else. And then you sell to something else, which is kind of weird. Uh, and I actually meant to turn that off. That's a pallet maker. I meant to turn that one off, but I forgot it. We don't have a ton of factories. I, we can always add more. Uh, we do kind of... The, the goal for the playing this map again was to kind of do a bunch of factory stuff. Um, if that makes sense. Are you guys done in this field? Yes, sir. All right, I'm going to start this Kubota on course play. And then uh, I'm going to work with it with the other tractor as well. Kind of team up and get it done. You know, you guys are actually doing 45? That's the plan. Let's go. I'm I all think, about efficiency, you know what I mean? I think this two track on that new plow should be the strat, right? But that loud sucker would be good on that plow too. Nope. It's too loud. <laughs> uh, There's got to be a way to turn that down. That, Tony. I sh you should be able to edit the exit for it. Sorry, Trey, what's up? So there's no stock exhaust on it. It's all straight pipe. I think the problem is it has the exhaust. Just cut it off, you know what I mean? <laughs> Don't need it. I know what the, what's wrong with it. Ain't got no gas. That's right. That's right. Ain't got no gas. John, we're about to be so efficient. Why? We're cutting this feel on a 45. <laughs> oh, jeepers. Jeepers, jeepers. Have fun with trucks crossing the road already. Can't have fun with that. Oh, that we were ha having them go underneath or above it. I still haven't fixed that. Not yet. Hey, I fixed the homestead tonight, okay? You know, one one thing at a time, right? One thing at a time. Well, well you see, before tonight, we didn't have any property south of the tracks. So it didn't matter. <laughs> and, uh, well... Now we have property south of the game of 50-50, uh, we'll be playing on 50-50 what? Does it get hit or not? Oh. Yeah, How many fine. times does it get stuck? It'll only go when it's full probably, right? Or sure. 85. Both ways, not sure. No, well, fullish. Polish. Yeah, this is going to be a good upgrade, by the way, for plowing. The nice inline ripper. This looks like the one over at the hog shed there. That's one. Yeah, if it was green and had a drawbar in it, it would be. Yeah. Okay. Pretty much oh, the same thing. I, I got it, Tony. I got it. Keep going. Oh, I, got it. I think it's a nine chick. Might be bigger. I don't know, but I'm, I've seen them stop their quad track with it before. I don't think I've ever seen that thing been used. Maybe like in a picture or something, but I don't think I've ever like, seen it with my own two eyes. So we do not play... Over there. We do not play with field stones on, but we do play seasons. Uh, we do play with periodic plowing. Uh, precision... What the hell else do we play, boys? Uh, um, auto drive and course play. Did you say lime too? We do lime. Yep, lime's on. 
Um, hard economic difficulties that we've been playing lately, and that's how this map is right now. Uh, we also kind of have a self-imposed rule of not going below 500,000 as much as possible. Kind of the plan. That's what we're working on as well. Kind of want to go spend a million bucks on land, but I know that that's not a good idea. We can't afford anything, real honestly. We can't afford like any land hardly at all right now. Fine, everything's fine. Yeah. No loan. That's another rule we're playing. Is uh, no no loan. We did that on our last map. We played Alma the whole time for almost 600 hours. I think it was with no loan. And uh, we're not taking, a, we're not doing a loan on this one either. Despite what Tom Kid says. Yeah. Five hundred thousand loan and nine K cash. Yeah. We play one day months on our seasons. Just one. One's enough. We, we So we also run a mod called Freeze Time. So if you notice, our time up there is at, at double zero. So basically the way I like to play is you work until you're out of work. And then you fast time. And then you work till you're out of work and then you fast time. That's how I like to play. I know it's not for everybody. But that's, that's how I like to do it. So that's what we do as far as taking a loan and stuff I mean there's nothing wrong with taking loans since we've chosen not to uh, adds a little more difficulty um, that's all but that's why you do a bunch of contracts or you know turn and burn your fields this is our gonna this is our second harvest the boys are harvesting right now the boys are harvesting down in 17 if they're, they're right over there there there's a grain cart did you guys use the little road here? The cross tracks? Yeah. I didn't. I used the yeah. other pass. It's, I, I didn't realize this was here until just the other day. Little road. Oop. Hello. Hello. What's up, buddy? How bad. How much? How much? 16x map, three day season. Wow. All right. Forest into wood chips. Oh, wood chips are wood chips can be very profitable. Yes, very profitable. Yeah, this this one's not a lot of woods. This is Elm Creek 4x by Stevie. So, the center. Oh, somebody's not happy. Uh, the center of it is Elm Creek, and then beyond that, it's a 4x 4x map outside of that. What's his problem? What's his problem? The uh, 17 wasn't connected to the mainframe. None of them are connected. Well, I know. That's why I said Stevie things, you know. That's Stevie Auto Drive guy things. Man, John, do you feel efficient? You talking to me or other John? The other John. I mean, you can you you, you feel efficient too? Just look at it. We're so efficient. I don't like. Uh, it depends on what's going on. Sometimes we'll run all crop fields the same crop. Sometimes we won't. It just depends on what's going on. Uh, if we have a bunch we need for a factory, then we'll do a bunch of fields in that or whatever. Um, it just depends. It just depends on what's going on. He's going to want to go in there and he's not going to listen to me. He's going to go in there. Really need him to not go in there. What if we just disable the, the ability to turn in there in the first place? Huh? Although, actually, isn't that where we want them to go? It is. We want them to turn around and go back up that way. But I don't like them going in there and turning around. They tend to get stuck. 
So I could have him not. So I'll have him turn around here, but come out through the fence. I mean, like this way. So I go here. Oh. Turn left. I get stuck too because I'm like, well, we'll I'll leave it the way it is. Or you, or you come through the fence first, and then come out through the wider part. I mean, ideally, they shouldn't be getting stuck in there. There might need to be something tweaked to make them not get stuck in it. Uh, next time around, uh, I'll watch the semi. He's heading up this way now. They both are, actually. But, yeah, so, so what we want to do eventually is, you know, there's a train track that runs right through the center of this map, right? East to west. So the highway goes over the train tracks. It's fine. This road, I don't know about this road. I think this road goes over it, too. This road here goes over the tracks. This one crosses the tracks, meaning like you drive across the tracks, like plop, plop, you know? What's wrong with saying west to east? What's wrong with that? That's the way the train runs. This one goes underneath the tracks, and then this one here, again, there's a crossing there. So what I want to do on auto drive eventually is eliminate this one and this one so that the train will either go uh, over or under. That's the that's the plan eventually. But I just haven't done it yet, that's all. I said east to west. Oh. You know. I got you, Joe. Uh maybe static, I was just seeing if anybody was paying attention. How about that? I've been, I, I, okay, you guys know on TikTok there's like the food reviewers. You know how many times those food reviewers will say they went to, like, say they went to Wendy's, but they have like Chick fil A sitting in front of them? And it's just to stir up the comments. Yeah. Scully, what's going on? Same, same, just different, right? But that, like, people do that stuff. South, east, west, yeah. Expect you to pay attention. Um, no. Exactly. They, like, purposely say something weird, or that Justin guy is the king of it, man. He'll say stuff, like, wrong on purpose, and then his comments blow up, you know? It's like, he's just getting engagement. He's pretty smart, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like that, uh, that Tillage Man Sam. Yeah. Like you said something about John Deere's new, like, it was like, uh, I think it was like their electric transmission okay. or something. Like, okay. they gave power back. I guess this comment section er erupted because of. Yeah. Sometimes people do that just to stir up engagement. And uh, half the time they won't admit to it. The Justin guy, he will, though. He'll admit to it. He'll be like, yeah, I got you guys. But. Okay, so when they come out of the homestead, they're going the right way. So we like that. We like that a lot. Um, I'll go down and work on that semi. Let me know, uh, Trent. You're going to have a... You're, you're waiting for them, kind of, aren't you? Yep. Okay, so the yep. semi is first. I'll, uh, I'll jump into him when he gets heading that way. I guess for the, the train, like where it crossed that track to the east. Yeah. And just make it turn around in that little spot. Actually, not even just cut it back here at this road at the building six. Well, the building, it'd be nice to have it to go to building eight, but we probably won't use that for much. We might put the rail thing in there, actually. We'll just make it turn around there. It's fine. I just haven't that got or to. in the uh, little lot south of the grape. Auto drive fixing stream. Jacob, I don't know that if I streamed this map, if I streamed auto drive fixing, it would probably take me like two weeks. 
of on stream like farm some time that I play already, you know? There's a lot to a lot of little tweaks that need to be made. Man, Tony, you're just barely making it. Yes, sir. Most of the auto drive guys maps don't have this, but this one I feel like because it's such an old uh map at this point. Like he's changed his ways a lot of how he does stuff, how he does stuff now. So, and, you know, and we're not picking on the auto drive guy. We're very grateful that we have the config file because I don't want to set the whole thing up. I'll be honest. I don't want any part of that. So very grateful. Very, very grateful to have it. But, um, there's a lot of little. A lot of little tweaks that need to be made. Like, how about this right here not being level, huh? Where the creek used to be. But of course, I'm creek, creek had to go. Trent, have you filled that truck yet? Yeah, I'm about to, once I get other John emptied. Alright. I'll be right there. Nope. I'm gonna fix it. What? I try to hit uh, shift four. By the way, chat, look at his uh, his tracks over there. I can't get closer. They don't do it when you're close. But <laughs> full car. <laughs> They're very awkward looking. <laughs> and then they snap and fix when you get close. <laughs> oh, goodness. Kind of funny. Robin, what's going on, man? Robin. How are you? All right, let's get this truck going. Paddle wheels. Yeah, it's for when it's really wet. Yeah. Do you start in the front of the truck and work backwards or start at the back of the truck and work forward? I don't know what side of the tarp's on. In this scenario right here, what would you do? I start at the back. Okay, because it's, yeah. Yeah, start at the back and then drive forward. So with farms in the way that they have. Oh, I know, farms in the truck. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I also try to load it level. Oh. Being a professional, huh? Alright. Alright, dude's totally gonna turn in here, correct? Yes. Alright, let's see what happens. Because you, you were saying, like, or was that a different semi trend? That we've had to get stuck in here just so far. Uh, I think that was the older Mac with the Low King. Okay. That's probably why. Man. Some sunset going on outside right now, Tony. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Guess it is that time. So this truck does not get stuck. This truck and trailer combo is perfect through there. The, the Wilson, or the, yeah, they're, they're going to have issues because the trailers are so long, right? Oh, it's the straight truck. The straight truck? I I, yeah, with the pup. I kind of see that, actually. Yeah. Because, like, uh, that truck that you're driving with, I think it was the loading, which is shorter than the Wilson, I, yeah. I believe. Be wrong, yeah, but I, I feel it like... got stuck up at the hilltop. That doesn't surprise me. The hilltop. The hilltop is an interesting cell point. <laughs> and even with customizing uh, the way for the semi. Okay. With just the straight truck, no pub, it still got stuck. I know we've we've run up there before. Um. 
I think the key before was the that lizard uh, trailer with the steer axle. I did find that using that little case, uh, I think we got rid of. I don't know. Yeah, we got rid of. With the pup, it worked great for running out of the homestead. Kind of weird. Uh, Jeff, that would be. Um, this one. This one is awkward. So the problem is, I don't have a tractor to show you, but the auto drive comes right here. So what I did last time was. Oh, that just, one? That one does fine. No, this is where we had problems last time. We've had problems here before, but you you push the auto drive out as far as possible, and maybe even bring this land up a little Hilltop bit. Hilltop is uh, farther west. Hilltop's farther west. No, this is the one I always had problems with. Hilltop, you have problems with, really? This is the one I was talking about. Yeah, it's not Hilltop, I guess. But then the other thing is, there's a cell point here for like straw and stuff too, bales or whatever. But there's two cell points here, technically. Oh, you know what? I do remember. Okay, the uh, the bigger problem with this one is that there's a, a two-way course here. So if you have more than one thing hauling here at a time, it's yeah, kind of is too restricted. It's kind of a problem on this road. The hilltop. Okay. I do remember. Yeah, it's these rails, right? Yeah, it's the rails that are there. That's okay. kind of the main issue on that. I do remember having to edit this last time, and I can get it to work with a semi. I've I've had it working with a semi before. Yeah, I've got it to work too. It's just yeah, you just got to do a lot of editing yeah. to that course. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Yeah, I've I remember that from last time. I think I even was able to get super views to work out of that. Oh dang. Which I mean, it was a nightmare to get working, but it was kind of nice to. To get it yeah i would assume that's one of those where you probably your your paths are gonna cross each other right so you're, at that hilltop one yeah yeah well at black hat i think when me and him were doing that 32 contract mm -hmm. of sunflowers we're almost thinking have it at a one way Go, going west on the paved road you go down empty and by that spinnery you go up that little dirt road on the map load it essentially have like a one way course so they never have to interact yeah I mean I know yeah that's quite a run up this hill and really, it's not the hill that's the problem. It's actually up here. There is actually already a path going up that that path that you're talking about. That actually is on auto drive already. It's a, it's a secondary route, but it's there. Um, the problem is you have to redo that. Uh, because it's going to cross over there. That's the whole problem with auto drive. You got it. Sometimes where it crosses over can uh, cause issues. Or it would, I mean, from the north, would that be better? Probably not. What I would seriously do is just get like. Then, then if you come from the north, you you come in straight. Yeah, but I don't know that those are good enough to drive on. Like send a semi down. Those I don't. I don't know. I'd have to go exploring. You'd have to go grab semis and go drive up there. I don't know. But what I would probably do is yeah, just... I don't know about that. If we had to sell a bunch of stuff there, which... The only time we're really going to have to sell there is a contract. Because uh, let's be honest, the train's always the highest price, right? Uh, if we had to sell there, I'd probably get one of the lizard trailers... Um, Wait for it, chat. It's one of these um, right here. So this can hold more. It holds like 120,000. But the the axles are the whole 
undercarriage can steer. So the more you turn, that's a weird place for a license plate, isn't it? Uh, the more you turn uh, your semi truck, the more that those steer. So really, really tight turns actually work out quite well on auto drive with that trailer because it'll it'll kick that bad boy out and, and you won't have the normal uh, collision on the inside of your, of your turn, basically. So it works quite well. Oh well, yeah. This looks weird when it does. Bear, not that I'm aware of, but that would be awesome if it was a thing. What's up, Trent? As I was saying that, you were saying that it kicks it out. I'm not saying it just looks weird when it does. Oh, it does. It reminds me of back in the day when they were building a pipeline here. And they had special trucks and trailers for hauling these giant sections of pipe, right? But I'm talking like an oil pipeline. Huge, huge pipeline, right? I mean, it's like a two foot or three foot or whatever. It's pretty, pretty big. Anyway, um, the special trailers, they had cables that ran to the, to the back of them. And when they would turn that would kick that out and we, they were hauling really long pieces of pipe. They were all oversized loads. It was awesome. It was really cool to sit at the old Dairy Queen and, and watch them go by. They'd get off the highway and yeah, it was really cool to see. But yeah. Not really a, it was kind of a, kind of a thing, but yeah, I don't, I mean, I'm not too worried about setting up. Yeah. Are we just get like some tractors and tippers? If we have to run up there, will we run like that or something. I don't know. Wagon farmer of the North, right? I mean, I'd kind of be curious to see how well this Mac pinnacle with the, the weird small or the old. The tiny trailer, yeah. Yeah, see how he would do, because... Yeah, I mean, you're not going to put the triple axle Volvo up there with the long chassis, you know? That's hard burst your bubble, John, but yeah, I don't think that... I could probably make it work, though. If I, if you give me enough time to mess with auto drive, I could probably get it to work. With a normal trailer? Yeah, I'll just have it drive past and back in. <laughs> how about that? Good luck with that. But I don't know. Is there an economy mod like that chat? Do you guys know um, that makes it so the train's not the highest price all the time? Because obviously I want to sell the train if it's the highest price, but there's so many other good sell points around the map. Like, you know, we're talking about these ones up north that have like challenges. It's challenging to sell there. You know? Do we just do we, do we eventually just put a rule and say no selling at the train? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Tweak it in the map file. Yeah, I don't want that though. Cause then hilltops, whatever the next highest one is always going to be the highest one. I want something like bear saying that maybe like changes it. Like one year, this is the high price for car and at this place, the next year it's somewhere else. Fixed crop, fly, cry, <laughs> fixed crop price mod. Other thing. Okay, right, hang on. Hold up the phone here, chat. We're talking fancy. So, in general, I would say, and I don't know every map, I'm generalizing, and I know I shouldn't. In my experience with Farm Sim, if there's a train on a map, that's always the highest price. In my experience. All right. Wait. Oh, this mod's not for us, by the way. No. Yeah. 
Yeah, this gives you the highest price for all base game crops and factory goods all year round. It gives you the highest price all year round. So this is not the mod. Not the mod for us. That's not what I want. I want more flexibility, right? Not less. That's what I, that's what I want. And Tony, now since you guys are on the like short passes, you, almost like yep. we're cutting beans. Oh, not much, uh, output. That what you're saying? Yep. Gotcha. But yeah, that's that would make more sense to have it, you know, fluctuate more and and not just up and down prices, but like where has the highest price? Because like I said, usually, usually it's the train. You know, maybe the train is just the big corporation and they can afford to pay more. You know, they have a better basis or something. I don't know. I mean, it makes sense for the train, but it's kind of annoying that train, you know. Yeah, every single time. Yeah. Yeah, big crop. Yeah. Oh, you! Oh, you guys are on short roads. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm not done up here. I. There's more plot. Oh wait, you guys have more harvest. Than you know? I think I'm, I think I'm actually gonna head out. Are you? I'm getting tired. All right. I know it's. I mean, it is getting close to his bedtime. I know it's 8:41 on a Saturday night, but bed and TikTok sound good right about now. If I'm gonna be honest. They're good. They're good. The more you sell, it does change the price, or at least it's supposed to. Yeah. Oh, John, I'm an idiot. What? Sorry, Trent. I I was going to unload into Trent, and there's still a pass left to corn. Oh. I'm an idiot too, by the way. I forgot that this doesn't mulch. That was the advantage of our other plow is it would mulch. I mean, uh... I don't mulch. <laughs> yeah, but you can mulch at 12 mile an hour, can't you? It doesn't take that long. Yeah, I just didn't do it and I already got like a bunch of those done, you know? Oh, you can't? Oh, yeah, because you can't mulch after. I can't mulch plowed ground. That's just, I mean, it'll count as like a seed bed though. You, you technically can mulch, but you don't get the, the bonus of mulching. Oh, well. We'll send a mulcher to the next one. No. Which you guys are basically done, right? Yeah, we're finished in this field. Alright. I'll send a mulcher down there. Plus 13 shank. What's going on? What's poppin'? Welcome in. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. That's the same list, never mind. What? Oh, I. There's another plow I. that I got that I. know it works, but it's, uh, it's the same width. Oh. That okay. is uh, plow mulching. Oh, plow um, yes. But I mean, if they're the same, same width as the deers. Yeah, yeah, I would just. This is fine. Not a big deal. I mean, I don't know how long we need to mulch neck technically, you know. Oh, we are. Uh, I'm not harvesting. The boys have been harvesting. Um, just got done with our corn, right? Yep. Just got done with two fields of corn. Uh, I've been plowing. Uh, I'm going to get this mulcher going down here in 17 real quick and then go back to plowing. So we're gonna of course play this guy and pull back and do some uh do some plowing that's the plan the other thing is this map doesn't have like the crop destruction or like harvested like on alma so we actually do get the full benefit of mulching on uh, these fields as opposed to on alma with all the other crop destruction It's all good. So he's going to run. I'm going to 
Back to my plow. Back to my plow. Really a uh, inline ripper, but it'll buff. It'll buff. We use uh, guidance steering for GPS. Guidance steering can be found in the in-game mod hub for PC. You betcha. Great rope out. See, I wouldn't. I, this is more of a ripper to me. The, in real life, this would not turn the. It would not do what it's doing. I don't think it would. Very minimal. Touch. In real life. These just make straight grooves down. The whole thing about these is to break hard pan. So like all of your ground will lift up just a hair and that helps with breaking hard pan, but that's not, it would not do this kind of tillage. This would taste like, take like a twisted shank ripper or something like that to do that. But this kind of ripper would not, would not do this in real life. They used to be all the rage around us, these inline rippers. Used to be all the rage. People don't use them anymore. You see how uh, it's a coulter, basically, so that cuts your residue. And then just a straight bar going down. And then the little foot's designed, just like I said, to kind of help raise up a little bit of soil. Uh, but there's a lot of room between them, so you're not working the dirt there, and you're not, you know. Uh, to me, a plow is like, you know, a moldboard plow, like old school plow. So. Hey, something like that, you just see plowing up the head on or point rows. The high compaction areas, the wet spots, yeah. Hey, Tony, baloney. Yeah. You got to take your DNA test. Apparently, they sent out an email like, hey, you better send that in soon. Yeah, come on, Tony. Johnny did his. I did do mine. It's actually not as bad as you would think at all. What are you going to do to spit in a tube? You don't eat or drink anything for, like, I think it's at least half an hour. And then you just spit in the tube, and then there's, like, a little preservative thing you put in there. And then seal it up. And then take, I guess you could just take pictures. That's what we did of the box and, like, the thing it's in and the tube. There's, like, zero number on there, kind of. Yeah. And then it's pre it's prepaid. You just throw it in the mailbox or whatever. <laughs> There's instructions, Tony. Alrighty. But it's not hard. I took mine the other day finally, so it's it's not as anywhere near as much saliva as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> so you're welcome. Alright, John, all good. <laughs> it's not. It's not as much as I thought it was gonna be. That's just uh, okay. What is with the tracks? Yeah, Big Al, they're just, I don't know. They're kind of broken. <laughs> Berated you, not me. It's in your name, not mine. I guess it is in my name. It's my DNA test, but on his account, so. I don't know. They didn't send it to me, so yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a visual thing, big Al. When you, he gets closer, like it stops doing that. It's just like kind of farther away. Talk about big Al. They're perfect now. They're perfect. Yeah, don't move. <laughs> I'm gonna head out. All right, Tony. We'll see you tomorrow, 9 a.m. Nine uh, in your house. Johnny, I need to come, my guy. Santa's coming to town. All right, I'll be at your house 9 a.m., farm truck and all. <laughs> all right, we'll make sure we leave the windows down. <laughs> all right, we'll see you guys. Have Goodbye. See you. L3FT4D3 at Jeardex 100. I have successfully gave Black Cat PTSD. You gave Black Cat PTSD. <laughs> Wow. Um, Be interesting to hear left. Left, thanks to the bits. Uh, Trey, you need a cart guy or a combine guy? Everybody left, didn't they? <laughs> uh, give me a second. I'll uh, finish my pass and then I'll.
jump in a combine, I guess, and start knocking down some beans. We might as well both jump in combines and put the wagon on auto, right? And we, yeah. we might yeah. as well do that. We're not going to get done with one combine, right? Although John said he'd be back soon. So. That's fine. We can do it that way. I'll just finish my pass here. And I mean, last time John said he, he'd be back, he, like, he turned around and he's back. Dude, I'm telling you, he wakes up on Saturdays and said, I'm a farmer today. You know? That's that's John's mentality. It's great. That I want to go get food, and it sounds like he's going to go to Wendy's or whatever down the block. <laughs> They go into his kitchen. Well, Alright, we'll have to ask him when he comes back. Alright, I'm gonna go park this down in the next field, then I'll I'll jump when I come up. Note that you turned on a dime, not even running crop over. Who? Cool. You, you you look like you're about ready to, but you didn't. That's I'm a car. trained professional, Trent. I watched well, a YouTube if video. If you're once. on a wheel machine that you probably would, but since you're on a two track, you turn on a dime. I watched a YouTube video once. Um so I'm pretty much an expert, all right? <laughs> it depends on the wheeled machine, for the record. It's one of the older tractors. <laughs> I could turn on a dime on those. Well, yeah, an older tractor, but not, not the newer Giants in game one. No. I'm assuming you want these on five, huh? Five or ten. One of each. I don't, I don't care. Beans. I don't care. It's beans. <laughs> oh, that's right. These don't turn. <laughs> I forgot these gum mines do not turn. Oh, man. No turnage on the gum mines, Jet. For the second time today, we're not going to drop straw, okay? First time I did read your joke, by the way. I just didn't read it out loud. Did I know your dad joke? It was pretty bad, yeah. Why aren't you Why weren't you working at work? Why were you watching my stream? I had you playing through my AirPods. Listener wants me to hear Dex 100. Oh. What did the farmer say happens because of his leaky bladder? Sometimes I wet my plants. That was the joke he sent me via text today. Thanks, first time for the bits. I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you the same response I did when I was on the track the first time. Just, just a sigh. Just wow. Wow, wow. Yeah, I just didn't lock my, uh, my screen. I saw the sign. I opened up my eyes. It's the sun. Uh, Jacob, thanks for the bits and trigger and a hype train chat. We got a hype train. I'm out of water for the hype train. It's sad. I actually got water, surprisingly. Her shape hype train. Let's go, chat. Go. Need to pour some water, chat. Oh, I have ice. This is still in here from three o'clock today. Ice. Got to love it. All right. So uh, we're harvesting, chat. We're doing it. We're really doing it, Harry. You know, Chad. I hear that John Denver. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> I don't even want to click on I'm not. Oh, yeah, because that sound. <laughs> uh, I think I'll give you a chuckle after stream. Bam. Bam. Dad, I'm watching these storms, by the way. They're all staying south. Still a lot. But once oh. in Central, they're not really moving, or in, not Central Missouri, but they're not really moving much again. Even like, or West Central, like Illinois, like mm -hmm. the one that was over there. Yeah. I kind of just like fell apart. Yeah. They're just not really moving right now. They must be watching Ninja on, you know, New Year's Eve. 
Not seeing enough movement. Toss it there. Or something like that. When your cart guy only has one auger wagon or one combine to keep up with. And you're on soybeans, he gets on Facebook. Apparently. Oh, man. Irish had you catching some stuff out there? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, flood stuff going on. Southern Missouri. Yeah. Interesting. They can definitely keep all that. And you guys did the fun, the fun harvest. How much is soybean? That was much fun. Pizza, we'll catch you later, man. Have a good night. Hopefully, we'll see you Monday. I mean, this is kind of like what I used to do in in beans. Scroll uh, Facebook, Facebook, Instagram. Right. Just because soybeans are low yield. And then you're not paying attention and I have to yell at you on the radio? Yeah, it's not really. It's just. And little, then you just, uh, turn the, turn, guy. you just turn the volume down on the radio. No? So they can't yell at you? Small fields, lower yield. You know, it's a whole thing. It is a whole thing. Well, we haven't heard back from Scoop, by the way. At probably all, uh, well, you know, feeling good, hopefully. Hopefully. That is the hope, anyway. Our guys on the move. It looks like you're uh, like an Olympic swimmer. <laughs> My card is. Yeah. <laughs> He's in training. <laughs> you're doing the backstroke or something. <laughs> Speaking of training for the Olympics, did y'all see the the pool that they put in? Uh... Oh God, what stadium was that? I can't remember what football stadium it was, but they totally put like an Olympic sized pool in that bad boy. Uh, thanks for that follow. Appreciate you welcoming in what's happening. It was, it's pretty crazy. I forget which one that was. Look, it might be Indianapolis? Colts? Or is it Denver? It might be Denver. I don't know. One of them. It was pretty cool though. It was pretty cool. Was it Indianapolis? Okay. But I thought it was one. It was yeah. All right. It's crazy. All right, peace. Thank you. I knew it was one of them. An Olympic-sized pool, and then they put a warm-up and a cool-down pool in there too. On the other like half of the. Uh, the field. Pretty awesome. Though. Pretty awesome. And something about the way they built it, they didn't even have to like bolt anything to the concrete. So it's just kind of like there. It's pretty cool looking. So I guess there's going to be Olympic trials or something coming up soon. I would assume. All right, hey, Karka, I'm over 50% full. I paid your pipe house as well. Oh, is that, are you paying attention for that? Okay, I don't need to now. Okay, I need, oh, well, that just messed up the yes, it's the best. But, leg, right? You gotta come back anyway. I know. This thing like it's like a snake. It's like 
Right, Jacob? Right, right, right. Oh, he's a snake too. Are you on your wheel right now? No, I, I disconnected that thing. Okay. I found out that if I don't have my wheel connected, like when you go to your offline screen and I don't touch my computer for five minutes, so I'll go on like the sleep mode. Really? All I gotta do is just turn off my Starbase TV and oh. then I can go to bed. But if I have my wheel connected, then I gotta turn off like every single monitor individually. So oh, automatically. the computer won't go to sleep. Okay. Yeah, because for some reason, it, like the wheel, like that sensor, like resetting There's or whatever. Probably a keyboard short. Well, you can go use your uh, start button. And like on your pad where you're gonna like turn off the computer, you can put it to sleep there. Yeah, I've, I've done that before and then it just rewakes. Really? Oh. I don't know why the wheel does it, but. Interesting. And I would keep my wheel, I think, probably more connected, but. Here I keep it connected or turn the whole computer off. Yeah. Still not a problem, it's just... Yeah, I'll say the wheel on. must be picking up like that it's moving a little bit. And then it like, oh, need to be awake, you know. Maybe? That's probably what it is, to be honest. I can see it. Everything's looking good in here, chat. Just, you know, thought I'd check in, you know, check the sample. Very consistent, you know. <laughs> oh man, that's like that's a it's a primitive GPS there. My phone's got a bigger screen than that thing. It's got the light bar across the top. Awesome. That's awesome. Goodness me. dare me to open the back window well that's not actually the window of the grain tank on most combines so it would be fine there's there's two windows there what's the difference between using an auger wagon and a trailer it's not a dumb question by the way not a dumb question at all uh, for soybeans, a trailer, or as Farm Team calls it, a tipper, uh, would be perfectly fine. Uh, especially for the short run that we have from the the field. Well, we're talking Farm Sim, so there's no compaction. Um, in Farm Sim land, uh, especially with the short run that we have, I mean, we're harvesting in field one, two right now, and he's only going right up basically right there. Right, like right, right on my mouse, right? So it's a short run. So a tipper would be perfectly fine for him to use right now. But when you get into those higher yielding crops, like even corn, and you get a little farther away from your homestead, plus the way that we farm, or I don't farm, but people farm around me and people farm around Trent, your auger wagon stays in your field. Right, and then loads a semi truck or a, a, some kind of truck. The truck does the, the driving down the road, right? And the reason for the auger wagon is to increase increase efficiency. Um, say by just if I have to drive to the semi to unload, which is like how my grandpa harvested, you know, back in the day. 